Human rights is key to ending AIDS in Africa by 2030, report, as the world prepares for World AIDS Day on December 1st. A new report by United Nations Program on HIV AIDS, UNAIDS, presents an urgent and powerful message, ending AIDS as a public health threat by 2030 is achievable, but according to the report, that can be achieved only if governments prioritize and protect the human rights of all individuals living with or at risk of HIV. Titled Take the Rights Path to End AIDS, the report underscores the critical link between human rights and progress in the fight against the epidemic with a particular focus on Africa, which remains at the epicenter of the global HIV response. To delve deeper into the findings of this year's UNAIDS report and its implications, Channel Africa spoke with Ngathuku Shangwi, director of the UNAIDS Regional Support Team for Eastern and Southern Africa, significant progress but persistent challenges, while the report highlights the significant strides made in Africa's fight against HIV, Ngathuku Shangwi cautioned that progress has been uneven, and major challenges remain. Despite advancements in treatment access and viral suppression, there are still an alarming number of people in the region living with HIV, 20 million in total. Notably, 9 million of them are not yet on treatment, and the region continues to experience new infections daily. We've done well in getting people tested and on treatment, said Gathuku Shangwi. But we still face a huge challenge in reaching our 2030 target of ending AIDS as a public health threat. Every week, three 100 girls are newly infected with HIV in our region. In South Africa alone, almost 900 girls are newly infected each week. This is not over yet. The report stresses the importance of addressing the root causes of these infections, particularly the human rights issues that leave many at risk. These include limited access to education, sexual and reproductive health services, and protection from gender-based violence, human rights, and development goals. One of the key findings of the UNAIDS report is the intersection of HIV prevention and broader development goals, particularly in relation to gender inequality and access to education. Gathuku Shangwi explained that women and girls in Africa are disproportionately affected by HIV not only due to their vulnerability to infection, but also because of limited opportunities for education and economic empowerment. In Africa, 51 million girls are out of school, and for those who do attend, their access to sexual health education is often insufficient. If we can ensure that girls stay in school and have access to education and healthcare, we can reduce HIV infections by 50%, Gathuku Shangwi said. Yet, in many countries, violence, early pregnancies, and lack of opportunities leave girls at high risk. These are human rights violations that make it harder to fight HIV. The report also highlights the challenges faced by key populations, such as men who have sex with men, sex workers, and drug users, many of whom face criminalization in some African countries. This criminalization prevents them from accessing vital HIV services thereby increasing their risk of infection. The call for leadership, Gathuku Shangwi emphasized the need for strong leadership to tackle these human rights challenges and push forward the fight against HIV. She called on political leaders, health authorities, and civil society to work together to ensure that the human rights of all individuals, particularly the most vulnerable, are protected. We need a revival of the awareness that existed in the early days of the HIV epidemic, Shona said. HIV is still a major issue. We need political leaders to keep the conversation alive, particularly in countries where the numbers may seem lower, but the problem persists. She also pointed to the alarming situation in Madagascar, where poverty and inequality are driving young girls to exchange sex for food, such as a single tomato. This highlights the dire need for a coordinated, multi-sectoral response that includes education, economic support, and access to healthcare. A call to action, Gathuku Shangwi concluded by offering a hopeful message for World AIDS Day. We can end AIDS in our lifetime. She said. We just need the right leadership, the right investments, and a commitment to human rights. We already have new long-acting medicines that can help prevent HIV injectable treatments that are given just twice a year. But for this to happen, we need to push the cost down, making it affordable for everyone. We all have a role to play in ending AIDS. With the right leadership, greater protection of human rights, and continued investment in education and healthcare, 
The goal of ending AIDS as a public health threat by 2030 remains within reach.